Hello, my lovelies! Today, we are doing a diagonal French half-up. <gasps> so boring! So boring! I'm very pointy with the fingers today. Um, yes, uh, easy. Uh, if you can French braid. <gasps> Torn, I can't French braid! Yes, you can. Um, and this, instead of being the full deal, is half the deal. Um, and some of you, <coughs> Joni, have got their lacing down, and if you can lace braid, it's only one more step to French braiding. <gasps> you can do it! I have faith. But, uh, yeah, we're doing this. Why? Why are we doing this? Well, you guys know I talked to you about the fact that, uh, I forgot to clean out my brush. I do love this. I need to get a new one, and then Joe's gonna get this one. Um... Remember, remember when I got this and I was all bummed out because of the handle and I'm like, eh. yeah, you have probably noticed I use this brush constantly. Yeah, uh, I got used to the stubby handle. <laughs> Any hoodles. Um, I was saying something. I'm already on a tangent. Terribleness. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, simple. Yes, I've been doing simpler styles lately uh, because you guys actually recreate the simpler styles, whereas when I do the big old fancy ones, I get one or two of you give it a go. Um, but most of you just go, yeah, it's pretty, yay, and uh, you never, you're never ever going to even try it, which is valid. So. Yeah, we're doing a diagonal French half up. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing with my bangs yet. Hopefully they will stay back. If not, I will fiddle with them later, as per the use. But we're going to French braid our hair diagonally. So I'm just going to brush everything back. My hair is nice and straight because I used my Birmu brush. Um, I love that thing. Uh, okay, so I'm going to start on this side. You can start on the other side. You make your diagonal go whichever way you want your diagonal to go. It's up to you. I'm starting on the left because I like this side for some reason. So yeah, starting over here, I'm just gonna take a section. Do, 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 and I'm gonna French braid. Um, that's all we're doing. This is, <laughs> we're just gonna French braid diagonally, uh, which means of course we start on the side and then we make it go to the other side because that's how diagonals work. Um, God, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Don't judge me. Um, so next section. So as we French braid, we're just gonna take small-ish sections, which you guys know is actually hard for me because I like to take big old Herkin sections. If you, would let, if you would like a more intricate braid, okay, maybe they're not so small. Uh, take very small sections. Uh, I. I never take very small sections. I just, like, I, I can't force myself to do it. It's, it is what it is. Um, it's, I like big sections. So, as always, when I French braid my hair, um, I know many of you don't, but I do, I like to add to both sides first before I braid. Um, to me, it, it helps keep my uh, my braids smooth um, and I don't get as lumpy bumpy um, and it helps my brain quite frankly uh, when I do these because uh, that way it's add add braid braid that's, that's how it makes sense in my head um, okay and this you see I'm adding and then I'll add to the other side. A lot of you guys add and then braid. I, mm -mm, I can't do that. It just doesn't really work for me. It's the way of things. Uh, I end up with bubbles and roughness and the braid doesn't look good and I don't like it. And that's just the way it is. So there's my braid braid. Is that enough or do I want to do one more? Um, although I'm not super smooth on this side. I think I'm going to do one more over here take a little bit from here uh. but as you can see I'm already I didn't do a, an awesome job so I'm actually not gonna add to the other side <gasps> and I'm only gonna add to the one side and then finish my braid over here so 
to finish my braid, I am actually going to braid all the way down and leave it hang um, because that's what I want to do. So we're over on this side, pull it over, and then get this piece of hair that wants to join the party out. And I'm going to finish braiding. Um, and you're looking at that going, ooh, that doesn't look good. Uh, we'll just wait. Wait until we get this braided all the way down, which I'm going to do. So snippety, snippety, snippety to the end of the braid. We're done. Look, it's not pooching or being weird on this side like it was when I pulled it over. It's fine. Da -da! I need to get my mirror so I can tell. A lot of the times I turn around to show you guys and I'm like all the way. Mm -mm. Let me make sure I'm in, there we go. Look there, now I'm in the middle. Uh, it's not hugely diagonal. It is slightly diagonal. Um, that is for myself, just because, you know, this is a good chunk to be hanging and it feels almost centered. It is a little slightly off centered, which is fine because it is a diagonal. Um, but I did try to, to make sure the braid would end up somewhat centered just for my own comfort. For my own comfort. If you want it like extreme diagonal, go for extreme diagonal. You're allowed to do whatever you want with these hairstyles. I give you ideas, you take them and run with them. But now we're going to decorate it because as you can see this is fairly simple. Um, but you know a half up French braid is always good. We're slightly diagonal. So ah, what are we doing? It is almost December. It is after Thanksgiving so we are officially allowed to do Christmas stuff. Um, so I have these little packages I have to check and see. I haven't shoved them in this hairstyle yet. But I bought these ornaments at the Dollar Tree years ago. These little tiny present ornaments. And then I just ran, I have hair everywhere. I just ran some of these knots of hair everywhere, I'm telling you. Uh, uh, you pins. Uh, these are not the Amish ones. These are the crappy ones I got from Sally's. These ones, that one's wired on. I don't even think I wired this one on. No, I just ran it through the package. <laughs> that one is actually wired on. Um, so it is sturdier than this. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. These are the not good U-pins. But they work well enough for decoration. They just don't really have any holding power. We don't need holding power because our hair is already done. Uh, so I have these and I'm gonna decorate with these. Um, I am wearing green today. I'm not sure how many folds I got. So we'll see, we'll start with green, um, as I said so. And hopefully these will be fine. Let's see. Er, er, er. So the first one, I'm gonna pinch this together. So hopefully it'll stay a little better. Do, do, do. Do. First fold, we'll put that like there. Oh, nice! And then next we will do red, red, green, and gold. That's what colors these came with. So the next fold is right here. So we'll put that there. Oh, we have gold. If I can get, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going like by, by fold or by braid. That way they'll be fairly well dispersed. Uh, that one I got a little low. But you know, we're doing, we're doing things in the mirror. So there's a little bit of trial and error. Uh, should we only do the three? Oh, I have an idea. I have one that I put all of them on. There apparently are silver ones too, but I'm not really sure what I did with the silver ones. Um, as you can see, there's a silver package, but see this is four of them and one. Ha, ah, we'll do that at the ender to make it look fancy. Alrighty, so this will be the last one. We'll just run it down the braid. And there we go. Oh, look at that. We're holiday. We're holiday, but not overtly too much holiday. Let me get in frame. Ha! Huh? <laughs> yeah? Is this not fine? There, you can even see a little package in the front from the top. 
I need to fix my bangs. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Stay in there where you're supposed to. I'll put some hairspray on those in a minute. Um, but it's cute. And it's not overtly. This is still like grown-up holiday, right? Grown-up holiday. It's a half up. It's festive. It's not over the top. You can still wear your hair down. Mine is straight today. You can wear it curly. It doesn't matter. It's just a half up. Uh, but it's a festive half up. I need to find some festive earrings. Gotta go to my jewelry box. I'm sure that's where they are. Um, and then I'll take some pictures, but that's it. It's a slightly diagonal French braid half up. Um, it is diagonal though. It's not straight back. You can do it straight back if you want. Mine is on the diagonal and you can definitely tell it's on the diagonal when I have the, my frame. Uh, yes, when I have the presents in. Slightly diagonal, very cute, very simple simple and I did get these are ornaments for those little tiny trees great those little tiny tree ornaments are fabulous for hair decorations they have all sorts of stuff I have disco balls I have regular that look like ornaments I have these that look like little Christmas packages all that stuff is great for your hair all you gotta do is stick a u-pin in it and like I said if you don't want to waste your Amish u-pins for hair decorations go to Sally's or Walmart or boots, UK people, I know you have boots, um, whichever, pharmacies, everybody has those little crappity U-pins for like two bucks for, a, for like 20 of them. Just get those and then just wire stuff or hot glue stuff to the ends of those and then you have a ton of hair decorations. So, any hoodles, that's all for me today. Um, yay easy I told you simple simple but decorated um so yeah this was our half up uh I don't know if we're gonna do half ups or full ups probably next week we'll do a full updo I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet we'll figure that out when we get there <laughs> any hoodles I love you guys um I'll see you tomorrow we're gonna try something I don't know what we're trying yet we're gonna try something yeah any hoodles love you guys bye